these labels even are. What? Um, what are you doing? Ah, uh, hello, Miss Garden. Since apparently we have a bar in this lounge, or at least a miniature bar, I was looking to see what our dear beloved host had stocked it with. Just in case, you know. Oh. Do you, do you drink at all? No. But it never hurts to be safe. Well, what are you looking for, then? Aha! Just as I suspected. Coffee and vodka. The ingredients for a white Russian. That bitch lied to me again! Uh, y you can just throw it away. It's nothing to be too fussed about. Okay, sure. There we go! Is there anything else in there? Um... Like... A whole lot of vodka, and there's some gin, too. That's your thing. No, um, I don't drink. I see. You know, duty calls and everything. Of course, of course, yes. <laughs> um, apologies if I'm bothering you, but... I was hoping to inquire about something. What would that be, Miss Gunn? Well, it's, it's just a matter of curiosity, but... You said that you were taken from the 1980s, correct? Uh, that would be absolutely correct, yes. Well, given your age, I managed to calculate that if you were taken from that time, then we must have been born around the same time in the 1920s, correct? That would make sense, yes. Well... What's home like? Uh, I, I, I beg... I beg your pardon, home? Well... I was taken in 1943. I. It was in the midst of World War II. I never saw the outcome of it. I. I was just curious to know, um. Did. Did we win? Is. Is everything okay? Miss Gunn, I believe there's been some confusion. I'm. I'm not British! Uh, excuse me? Yeah, I'm, I'm American. I'm not actually British, Miss Garden. Uh, wait. But, but your accent. What, what about my accent? Uh, well, it sounds British. Like, what, I don't understand. I, people talk the way they talk, Miss Garden. Like, I'm, I'm from New England. That could explain it, and... And also, you're one to talk about accents. Weren't you Scottish the last couple of games? Uh, I, uh, I, I don't think that was me. Oh yes, my, my apologies. Uh, that must have, uh, that must have been the host I was talking to. Uh, I if she's putting on a Scottish accent, that would make sense. Um, I, we, we don't share the same memories, but I can sometimes feel glimpses of her emotions, of her mind, of her constant hatred towards me, she's probably trying to dissociate more from me. I see. I... I, I hope you understand my reasonings for keeping her secret at first. It was quite a bit of a shock. Uh, then again, I was also in shock from bleeding out painfully. Yes, um, apologies for that. She's a bit, um, spiteful, per se. I I just had a bad feeling that if she were to wake up, then she would be a bit... Well, you've seen... I don't know exactly what she did, but you've seen it. Miss Garden, Miss Garden, please. If you're apologizing for bursts of emotion, or bursts of violence, then... I'm afraid you're in the wrong place, my dear. I have seen everything. I have killed everyone here. I have been killed by everyone here countless times. It's nothing to apologize for. I'm I'm used to it by now. Do you not feel anything? I mean, I know that's rich coming from me, but you've just been you've been here for so long that you really closed yourself off. Seemed like the most logical solution. But your family, I... Do you not miss them? Of course I miss them. But I know enough to know they're not here, no matter how much 
the bitch running this place tries to convince me otherwise. <laughs> yes, I... With my uncle, it was a shock, but now I know of what he was here. It's... I don't look back on it in pain or anything. It was a complicated time with him. But... My only wish is... When or if we ever leave. To find out what happened to him. The, the people who I worked with just dismissed it as he died during a blitz, but... I want to make 100% sure. You... You asked me how the war ended, and... Though I'm not actually from London, I can't provide any distinct answers there, I... I can tell you at least that much. America didn't want to join the war. We were forced to. Japanese attacked us, so we had to go on that front. It would have been an impossible battle. They don't surrender. They dig in quite well. So, we needed a better weapon. I worked with Mr. Oppenheimer. We called it Project Manhattan. And what happened? We created the ultimate weapon. A bomb unlike any other. It was not any simple combustible gas in there, no. It, it was splitting the atom itself. We watched it in a test out in the desert. We knew the world would not be the same. A few people laughed. A few people cried. Most people were silent. Mr. Oppenheimer remembered a line from this book he read, the, the Hindu scripture, Bhagavad Gita. Vishnu is trying to persuade the prince he should do his duty. And to impress him, he takes on a multi-armed form and says, Now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. I suppose we all thought that, one way or another. <laughs> I see. We dropped the bombs. The war was ended. We killed thousands to save millions. So yes, Miss Garden, we won the war. But warfare afterwards was never quite the same. I see. I mean, I can't blame you for that. I know it's not the same amount as what you did, but being a detective, you have to take the immoral path sometimes in order to reach the end of the case. I'm sorry. Thank you, Miss Garden. Now, if you don't mind, I know I said I don't drink, but I'm quite in the mood for one of these gins. For once, I think I'll indulge it. <laughs> <laughs>